The human body makes up to, and sometimes even more, than a gallon of milk a week when breastfeeding. But how does it even get there? Hi, I'm Julie, I'm a mom of two, and today we're gonna break down how your body makes milk. It's a super cool process, but not always a simple one. There are four key stages. Develop, activate, build, and maintain. If you're wondering how to set yourself up to successfully make enough milk, we're gonna walk you through each stage. From what happens to your body to prepare you for making milk, to what the early stages of breastfeeding look like, and how a breast pump like the Medela Symphony Plus can help you meet your feeding goals. Let's start before your baby even arrives. During pregnancy, your body is already prepping for breastfeeding. Your breasts might grow up to a cup size or two and feel sore or tender. And that's thanks to hormonal changes that trigger milk-making tissues to develop. Inside your breasts, you've got a whole milk-making factory. The key players? Alveoli, these are the little sacs that produce milk. Myoepithelial cells, they squeeze the alveoli to push milk out and milk ducts, the transport system that carries milk to your nipple. These systems are developing the whole time you're pregnant, even making small amounts of milk before birth. But it doesn't kick into high gear until your baby is born. That's when your body gets the signal to start producing real milk. This stage is called activation. During the first three days after birth, your body makes an important decision. Should it keep producing milk or start getting ready for your next pregnancy? If milk is not being removed during this time, your body will stop making as much. That's why activating breastfeeding early during this time is so important. When your baby suckles or your breast pump applies suction, it triggers nerves in your nipple and areola that tell your brain to release two important hormones. Prolactin, which signals your body to make milk, and oxytocin, which causes the milk to be pushed out. This is when you might feel the let down reflex. It's kind of like the green light that lets you know milk is flowing. What comes out first is colostrum, also known as liquid gold. It's thick, yellow, and packed with antibodies. Colostrum is only made for a few days after birth, so once it's gone, it is gone for good. Your baby's stomach is around the size of a marble when they're born, so they only need about a teaspoon of colostrum per feed. But here's where it gets tricky. If you're not able to nurse right away, maybe your baby is in the NICU or or you're recovering from a C-section, or your body is just stressed from labor, activation might stall. That's where a pump like the Medela Symphony Plus can help. If you have friends who pumped or breastfed and they used a pump in the hospital, this is most likely the one they used. While other pumps are usually designed to support feeding after you've established your supply, the Symphony Plus is the only pump that truly mimics baby's natural nursing to help you get to that established supply. It's super powerful and has a special function called initiate mode, which mimics the irregular fast suckling of a newborn in the first few days after birth. The goal, to get your body to flip that milk making switch. After a few days, colostrum transitions into what's called transitional milk. This is when your milk volume increases big time. But here's the catch. To build a full supply, you need early and frequent stimulation. That means feeding or pumping every two to three hours. If that doesn't happen, maybe due to latch issues, medical conditions, separation, or even just life, your supply might not build properly. A powerful pump like the Symphony Plus can help you cross the bridge to that supply. Once you've activated milk production, you switch to the Symphony's maintain mode. This is usually after day three when you are producing about an ounce total at a time. Maintain mode mimics the way a baby nurses once milk is flowing. A bit slower, but more efficient. It's designed to help build up your supply when your baby can't do it alone. Once your supply is steady, usually around day 14, it still needs upkeep. That's partly because breastfeeding takes a ton of energy, about 400 to 500 extra calories a day. It's an amazing system because it naturally adjusts to make just the right amount of milk for your baby. But if milk isn't being removed, it slows down the production. If you go long stretches, say longer than five hours without feeding or pumping, your body will get the message to start pumping the brakes. That's why pumping can be key, especially if you're going back to work or your baby is sleeping through the night. At this stage, you may no longer need the powerful customized modes of the Symphony Plus. Though if you are exclusively pumping, it could still be helpful to ensure you are pumping enough to feed your baby breast milk 24 seven. But if you're breastfeeding or only occasionally pumping, you might choose to switch to a more standard pump, like the Medela Pump In Style. Because the Symphony Plus is basically the Cadillac of pumps, some parents opt to rent one instead of buying one, and you've got a few options there. You can rent from your hospital or medical equipment supplier, rent online directly from Medela, buy it for yourself online directly from Medela or Amazon. Depending on your circumstances, your insurance may cover a rental, so make sure to check out your coverage with your carrier.
While milk production might be a natural process, it doesn't always come naturally. Those first few weeks can be overwhelming as you and your baby get the hang of things. But with the right tools and support, like the Medela Symphony Plus, you can help set yourself up for success early. Whether you're nursing, pumping, or combo feeding, now you know how your body makes milk and how to keep the supply flowing. I hope this helps.